Is Maine doing enough to protect kids from tobacco? A new study came out today looking at how states are doing nearly 20 years after the landmark state tobacco settlement. Shauna Narine has the details. The annual report by the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids looked at how states are doing in protecting kids from tobacco. They say most states are getting a failing grade. They're collecting billions, millions and billions in tobacco revenue, but really not spending very much on tobacco prevention and cessation programs. He says Maine is bringing in $196 million in tobacco revenue, but only spending $5.3 million on prevention programs. 33%, that's only 33% of what the CDC recommends the state spend, so that's uh, obviously not enough. He says the state legislator should increase the funding for the programs so the state could bring the spending up to closer to what the CDC recommends. Reach out and reach young people and adults alike and help them not sm start smoking at all or those who have started smoking help them quit. Last year, Maine raised the smoking age to 21. Protecting that law, because I know the governor has been, he vetoed it, they overrode his veto, now there's concern that he still might try to undercut it. Youth advocate Adeline C. says you can see tobacco signs plastered on windows, on the counters, and it's all geared towards young people. Focusing on electronic cigarettes and flavored cigars. That's the problem. People think that electronic cigarettes are, uh, you know, they, they don't realize, a lot of people don't realize, those are nicotine products. And mm -hmm. Young people using them are getting addicted to nicotine, and that certainly not something that anybody recommends and we certainly oppose it. 11.2 percent of people in Maine say they are smoking. Advocates say focusing on peer-to-peer -peer education is effective. So we need youth activists as well as others getting the policymakers to understand that they have a job to do if we want to beat big tobacco. Reporting in Bangor, Sean Narine, ABC 7 and Fox 22. Thank you, Shauna. Coming up on ABC 7 News at 11 and